Scotty Ian McGuinness. <laughs> Bit of a countdown now. This is not an all night quiz. It's not, you know. This is just to break the ice, everybody. Any more answers to the questions? Right, here we go then. Here are the questions. Arthur Haywood's favourite expression was that you could forget. What was the name of the band set up by Stuart D. Barb Randall Sorry? Who says Martin West? It's actually Peter West or Martin Well, Mr. West would have done this. No, well, he was a Welshman too. Right, what was the name of the group set up by Stuart G. But yes, you can cheer. These are the days now when Chris Cooper can actually not be called Sir. There you go, Mr. Cooper. Thank you very much for attending. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I also then have uh, your applause? Can I now introduce you, please, to a lady that joined us on the same day as us in 1962. Oh dear, poor old Myra Perkins. Fancy joining on exactly the same day as us. Myra Perkins, but we want you to come up because there's a confession to be made for you. <laughs> Myra Perkins is coming up, but in addition, ladies and gentlemen, there is a confession from Michael Neal that he was, wants to get off his chest. <laughs> you see, Myra Perkins he was... He doesn't remember me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a pity, isn't it? Just a bloody Myra, please come up, because Michael Neal will come and explain to you why his homework was exactly the same as other people's. Michael? <laughs> Well, you never told me about that. No, I didn't tell you about that. Right, I need to sit. You have to stand behind here, Mike. Otherwise, you get pissed. Is that OK? Yeah. Right. Um, well, I invented this system. That, uh, unfortunately, I actually didn't do my homework overnight. So I came in in the morning and found the best uh, pupil in the class. And I said, can I borrow your book? And then I realised, if I borrowed their book, I'm sorry Arthur, I'm very, very guilty. <laughs> um, if, if, I, if I borrowed their book and copied it, that'd be quite good. But I thought it even better route. If I borrowed their book and didn't give it in, and they didn't give it in, then if the best pupil in the class didn't give it in, I'd get off. <laughs> I did! <laughs> so, Sorry about that, but... Who was the pupil, Mick? What a good edu education Mick, who was the pupil? <laughs> Mick, who was the pupil? You can tell me. Never the same again. Thank you, Brian, <laughs> very much for coming along. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, only today did we find this man. When we had careers advice from him, there were four jobs for boys, two jobs for, two, uh, for girls. And when I went into personnel management, I then realised there was 14,000 different job titles. Uh, how he has missed out on us. Charles Butler, please come up for your little momento. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on and please give us your address. Would you like to say something to the gathered ensemble? <laughs> <laughs> the man that taught us religious education, Curl, what can one say? Well, not a lot, so Peter Mann, please come and get... Please. Thank you very much, Peter. Ladies and gentlemen, the man that gave us, get those knees up, boys, to say Butlins, or somewhere between Ames and Butlins, take other expletives, the man that gave uh, Clive Jenkins, uh, who wrote to us today, saying, this should really be the rugby do, uh, Morton <laughs> Evans, but I've got another confession for Morton Evans, please. Would you come up? Yeah. 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 Yeah.